Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding the category of each member in the store and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called members with two different columns, member ID and name, member ID being the primary key of this table. Each row of this table indicates the name and ID of a member. There's also a second table called visits with three different columns, visit ID, member ID and visit date. Visit ID is the primary key for this table. Member ID is a foreign key to the member ID column from the members table, right? And then each row of this table contains information about the date of a visit to the store and the member who visited it. Okay. We are also given a third table called purchases with two, two different columns, visit ID and charged amount. Visit ID is the primary key for this table and also a foreign key to the visit ID column from the visits table, right? So this one, and then each row of this table contains information about the amount charged in a visit to the store. Okay. A store wants to categorize its members. There are three different tires. Diamond, if the conversion rate is greater than or equal to 80. If the conversion rate is greater than or equal to 50 but less than 80, then it is gold. If it is less than 50, then silver. And if the member never visited the store, then bronze. The conversion rate of a member is defined as total number of purchases for the member, right? Divided by total number of visits for the member multiplied by 100. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the ID name and the category of each member. The order of the result does not matter, right? Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So here we have five different people with like, you know, different member IDs and name. And then we have different visits. And these are the amount charged on different visits, right? So now let's go for, you know, let's take a couple of them and see like what category will they belong to so for example member id 9 right member id 9 alice member id 9 visited uh, the store right so twice so these are the two visits on different dates right and what is the corresponding visit id 18 and 21 right so for 18 we have a charged amount of 9000 let's say dollars but for 21 nothing was bought right so what is the conversion rate for this it says the conversion rate is total number of purchases for the member by total number of visits of the member multiplied by 100. So total number of visits by Alice is 2, right? Which is going to be in the denominator and total number of purchases is 1 only. Why? Because for only visit ID 18, we have a charge amount. So 1 divided by 2 is 0.5 multiplied by 100 is 50%, right? So for 50%, what is the category uh, gold right so alice belongs to gold category now about bob right so for bob member id 11 visited one two and three times so three is going to be in the denominator and out of this how much how many of these visits there was a charge so 22 16 and 12 right so for 12 we have a charge but not for 22 and 16 so only one so one out of three so one divided by three multiplied by 100 that is 33.33 percent and 33.33 percent belongs to what silver category right so alice belonged to gold then uh, bob belongs to silver right now let's took uh, now let's look about this member right member id narihan so one never visited the store right so obviously if never visited the store there is no going there is not going to be any purchases right so conversion rate is going to be basically zero but since the person did not visit the store right since the person did not visit the store we need to implement it into a branch category right now there is another interesting case just said that for member id one the conversion rate is zero because the person did not visit it right there is another condition where the conversion rate can be zero as well even after visiting the store right so for example if you look at this right so three so three winston right and three visited the store but three is uh, associated with visit id 19 and 19 was not charged right so what is the number of times 
देर वॉज अ परचेज जीरो एंड नंबर ऑफ विजिट इज वन फॉर विंस्टन राइट सो जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड इज जीरो परसेंट राइट सो देर आर टू केसेस बट यू सी सिंस यू नो इन दिस केस जीरो इवन दो द कन्वर्जन रेट इज जीरो इन दिस केस एज वेल फॉर विंस्टन राइट बट सिंस विंस्टन विजिटेड द स्टोर राइट सो देन इट्स इट शुड बिलोंग टू Silver, not bronze category. Remember, bronze is if the never member never visited the store, right? If if you are not going to visit the store, your uh, conversion rate is obviously going to be zero, but you are going to be bronze. And if you visit the store and don't buy anything, then you are going to be silver. So if you see uh, Narihan in our output, Narihan is going to be bronze because never visited the store. Winston. Visited the store. Both have zero conversion rate, but belongs to the silver category, right? So since we have different information in three different call tables, right? So first thing we can do is we can combine these three tables into one, right? So we have information at one place. We can, you know, left join members table on visits table, and then left join the purchases table on visits table as well, right? So from the members table aliased as m let's left to join the visits table aliased as v on m dot member id is equal to v dot member id and then again left to join the purchases table right purchases table aliased as p on v dot visit id is equal to p dot visit id right and then let's not keep all the columns because it is you know if you see there is just going to be repetitions of columns right so let's only keep certain columns which we really require like we don't require visit date right we don't need visit id column twice right we don't need member id column twice so we let's keep only one columns right and whatever we require so since we require the member id and name right because it should be in the output as well so let's keep that right so return m dot member id you can keep member id from both of these tables i am just keeping it from the members table let's keep the name as well so m dot name uh this column this visit id column is going to be crucial to determine whether the customer visited or not visited because based on that our category might change right as as we discussed earlier so let's keep the visits table and or the visits id column as well so v dot visit id and then let's keep the charged amount as well you know because based on this also we need to see like whether a uh, purchase was there or not right so we can keep p dot charged amount right now what is this going to do basically so like let's take one example like for example member id 9 alice right so for member id 9 it says okay from the members table let's join the visits table on member id so it will take okay member id is 9 goes to visits table and finds how many matches two matches right so there will be two different rows for this right member id okay so for alice this is going to be the case right but only certain columns would be kept because we are only keeping certain columns right so for these first two columns it is coming from this one right and since we are keeping both member id and member name so it will be there then we are keeping the visit id from visit table right so next three columns so this these three are coming from visit table but we are only keeping the visit id right so these will be removed okay and then we are only keeping the charged amount column right so these two columns so last two columns are coming from purchases table but we are only keeping the charged amount right so this will be the case for alice right so if you see what we have for alice we have two different rows right uh, there were two different visits in which in one there was 9000 dollars charged and in the second nothing was charged and this is going to be the same case for everything else right so what we can do is we can store this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as 
you know this comes in under entire common table expression okay so now let's calculate that for each of the members what is the conversion rate right so from this common table expression let's group by the member id right member id and the name of the member and then let's return the member id right so we return member id we return name and then we calculate the conversion rate now to calculate the conversion rate we know that the formula is that total number of purchases and total number of visits right so total number so how do we know if there was a purchase that is when the charge amount was not null right so we can use the case when statements and the sum function and combine them to basically count as we have discussed in our previous videos right so what we can do is we can write case when you know purchased amount is not null right then you return one else you return zero in the case when statements and then sum this entire thing right and then what we can do is we can divide by the total number of rows for each of these members right multiply it by 100 and alias this as conversion rate okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what this is going to give us right okay so here if we see for for Alice, we have 50% conversion rate. For Bob, 33%. For Winston, we have 0%. Right. For Han, uh, for Harsit, 100%. And for Narihan as well, 0%. Right. So, as, as we discussed earlier, we see that for both these cases, right, when you visit, then also you can have a 0% conversion. And if you don't visit, then also you can have 0% conversion. Right. But both of these needs to be from two different categories so this is going to be silver and this is going to be the branch now using this output right let's use these tiers to basically determine which category they belong to so then what we can do is we can store this thing as in a common table expression as well so cte2 as right and then using this common table expression we can basically create the categories so from this common table expression 2 let's keep both the row both the columns that is member id right member id and name and then use the case when statements to determine the category right so case when conversion rate is greater than equal to 80 then it is a diamond category right when conversion rate is greater than or equal to 50 and conversion rate is less than 80 then it is gold right when conversion rate is less than 50 right now when it is less than 50 so we saw in both these cases like when you know the person visited but didn't buy anything the conversion rating is going to be zero and when the person did not visit in that case also the way we are calculating conversion rate the conversion rate will come out to be zero but they need to be different right so they need they need to be different categories so to do that what we need to do is if it is less than 50 but that member id belongs to this mem these members right so it belongs to this so for example for this right so if here i write and member id in right and then i write select distinct member id from visits so it will check that okay for winston that is member id 3 it is in the visits table that is even though the even though the conversion percent is less than 50 the person visited the store right so then you categorize it as silver 
right else you categorize this entire thing is branch right so you end this case state case statements right and alias this as whatever we need in the output so end and alias this as category right so since the question here mentions that the order of the result does not matter so i think that is going to be it let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again kind of a medium difficulty question right but you have to follow the logic and also keep in mind that there can be two scenarios where you can have 0% conversion rate depending upon the way that you are calculating it you know but you need to have two different categories in those cases so make sure that you include that as well and this is how we do it let me know in the comment section if you know a better way or a more efficient way of doing this let me let the solution be there in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video